Hello, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today I'm going to show you how to make a syrup sponge pudding. And this is a really simple, easy recipe that we used to make as kids growing up. And um, it's one that only needs the microwave, so you don't have to use the oven or anything. So what I've got in the mixing bowl here is four ounces of margarine and four ounces of sugar. Now you can either put this into the food mixer um, or you can do it by hand, but I'm going to do it by hand today. What you need to do is to mix this round until it's light and fluffy. Okay, so I've mixed it all round here until it's a bit lighter in colour. And then what we have to do is to add four ounces of self-raising flour and two eggs. Now you can put half in and then one egg and then just mix that round. Now all this recipe is, is a Victoria sandwich recipe. So that's just the one you need. Now if you want to make a bigger one, obviously just up the ingredients a little bit. So when I'm making cupcakes, I normally use the three eggs and six ounces of flour, six ounces of sugar, six ounces of large. Um, but this one I'm just doing four. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So um, let's pop this rest of that in. Just give that a mix round. Oh, spilling it out of the bowl. Normally I use my um, Kenwood mixer, but um, I wanted to do it today so you could so you could see. No. Right, let me get this. Right, okay. So we'll just mix it round. Right, so the mixture's all um, mixed round in the bowl. So what we're going to do is get another bowl that can go in the microwave and you need some golden syrup. Now if you wanted to make this into a chocolate sponge, then um, substitute an ounce of flour for an ounce of cocoa and you can put some um, maybe Nutella or something in the bottom. Um, that would work fine. So what we're going to do is pour some syrup this will feed a few people, so don't worry too much about that. I pour some syrup in the bottom. And then get your cake mixture. And you want to put your cake mixture on top, straight on top of the syrup. Okay, just scrape it out of the bowl. And then just spread it over like that and then when you've done that what we need to do is to get some cling film right so when you've done that you get yourself some cling film and you pop a little bit over the top Stick it down and then you need to pop some holes in it so this is now going to go into the microwave so if we didn't have the holes in the top it literally would puff up and make a big bang so we've popped some holes in the top so I'm just going to stick this into the microwave now and show you when it's done right here we go it's had about six six and a half minutes in the microwave and my microwave's on its way out so um, yours may need a little bit longer so it just depends on the temperature so you just very carefully take off the cling film and it will be hot so be really careful um, and then all you have to do is get yourself a bowl and cut in you get your little extra bit of syrup at the bottom there and as you can see it's really nice in there now what I've done is I've got some custard um, normally I make my own custard but um, I've got some dairy free custard that I actually found um, so that's what we've um, put on the hob at the moment to heat up so I'm just going to go and grab that now there we go so you could actually put cream on if you didn't want custard or you could just leave it as it is and there we go how simple is that pudding that was literally done start to finish in five six minutes um, 
preparation time then maybe five minutes in the microwave so 10 to 15 minutes and you've got yourself a pudding and you're eating it so there we go i hope you've enjoyed watching that there's my little syrup sponge pudding recipe um, i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon bye